Hello, I'm Adam and today I will show you how to connect a laser to your 3D printer and configure it basing on Smoothieware uh, firmware. So, let's start with the laser uh, overview. Uh, I've got this uh, 2.3 watt laser and uh, it's a uh, blue light. There is cooling fan on top with this control board and I recommend using lasers with the control board because uh, with this board you can uh, control your laser by using TTL or the PWM signal. So that means you have uh, full control of your uh, laser. And uh, there is another feature, uh, this button. Uh, it's turning laser into low power mode and it's uh, really recommended uh, to have this because uh, when you are in a room with the laser of course you have to wear uh, protection glasses but uh, anyway looking on a laser when it's working it's not really uh, good for your eyes because it's really bright and you can adjust the focal by turning this and uh, this laser uh, is uh, connected to my 3D printer using a DB plug. By the way, one pin can handle uh, up to 3 amps. And uh, I have uh, mounted this laser to uh, my carriage, to Hypercube. And as you can see, there is one screw and four pins to hold it uh, uh, straight. And uh, there is an end stop, but I don't use this end stop because when you are starting, uh, when you want to start uh, etching, uh, you will put your, uh, for example, wood uh, somewhere on the printing table and uh, you move your laser to uh, beginning of this wood and set the coordinates to zero, 0, then you hit start and uh, it's etching. So uh, you don't need to zero your x-axis and y-axis because uh, wood is, will be smaller or PCBs will be smaller. Before using this laser you have to power it uh, to, the, on the, to the low power mode. Then uh, you have to uh, adjust the focal to be uh, smallest point. Then you uh, arm this laser by turning off the low power mode and uh, you go outside uh, the room where is printer and uh, you can start. Okay, it's time for the Smoothieware part and uh, on the Smoothieware page it's really good explained so I'm leaving a link in the description and uh, I will talk about uh, configuration and uh, to enable this uh, laser we need to paste this uh, to our text file uh, which uh, contains a smooth viewer configuration which is uh, located on the SD card and uh, let's start with uh, describing enable this module okay uh, there is a PWM pin and uh, this pin you have to change uh, it uh, where you have connected your PWM pin so probably it won't be uh, 2.5 if you are using different board and uh, there is a maximum and minimum power uh, that means if uh, your command uh, to laser will be something like uh, max uh, the real power will be 80 percent uh, and uh, I think it's a good way, it's worth to leave it at uh, 0.9 or 0.8 because the LED in the laser doesn't have a very long life. And there is a minimum uh, power for the traveling. The PWM period, you need to determine uh, on which frequency your laser is working. Uh, and it's needed, for example, when you set laser to 70% uh, power and uh, the board is, uh, the board creates a PWM signal to set the laser for the 70%. But if this value is uh, wrong, the 70% 70, 70 might be 100% or over, one, over 100. 
and uh, for example you want to be able to uh, make uh, gradients and I recommend uh, to add uh, some gradients to, sh uh, to check how uh, you control your laser power scrolling down we can see all options and I recommend uh, adding to this uh, config uh, this uh, line the TTL pin in real it's uh, the VCC of the laser so it's where you connect your source of power and uh, you should connect your TTL pin to uh, your uh, MOSFET on the 3D printer board for example RAMPS has uh, three MOSFETs so uh, my first MOSFET is for the hot end second uh, was for the heat bed when I had a 100 watt heater and third MOSFET is uh, the TTL pin for the laser because uh, this pin turns on when the laser turns on so the laser is powered when it's moving so that's okay scrolling down this g-code will move your turned on laser by one centimeter on x a speed of 300 millimeters per minute and the power will be 20 percent okay a few words about uh, etching software because uh, when you to 3d print you have a slicer so to etch uh, you still have something like slicer and I recommend using VisiCut and uh, because uh, this software uh, has uh, profiles for the uh, smoothieware and uh, when you have clean installed uh, the VisiCut you can go to options, laser cuts and uh, you can add a uh, cutter and you can see there is a marine and there is a smoothie board select smoothie board and press ok then we can see uh, some settings upload method select to file because uh, with this it will generate you file with uh, it will generate you standard g-code which you will uh, which you have to upload to the SD card or use on the uh, octoprint then there are options like uh, DPI its resolution and generally that's it from the options hit save then save and now we can choose smoothie board and we select the material anything and uh, now we can put there uh, i recommend uh, uploading the svg uh, files because it's uh, a vector uh, graphic and that's it thanks for watching please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button bye